Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how we make soda lime glass and borosilicate glass. You should then be able to describe how clay ceramics are formed and finally you should be able to describe what's meant by a composite and give examples of composites. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. I'm showing you here a vase, some kitchen tiles and a wine glass and these are all examples of ceramics. Now there are lots of different categories of ceramics and we're going to be looking at two. These are glass and clay ceramics, so let's get started. Most of the glass that we use is called soda lime glass and I'm showing you some examples here. Soda lime glass is ideal for items such as windows and bottles. So to make soda lime glass we mix together sand, sodium carbonate and limestone. We then heat this mix in a furnace until it melts. When it cools, it solidifies into any shape that we want. There is one problem with soda lime glass, which is that it's got a relatively low melting point, and this limits its uses. Now, there is another type of glass, which is called borosilicate glass. This has got a higher melting point than soda lime glass, and this makes borosilicate glass useful for objects that require heating, for example, kitchenware and labware. Borosilicate glass is made by melting a mixture of sand and boron trioxide. As we said before, another group of ceramics are clay ceramics, and again these have got lots of different uses. Examples include pottery and bricks. Now unlike glass, clay is a mineral that we find in the ground. When it's wet, clay can be shaped. It's then heated in a furnace to harden. Ok, so as you can see, ceramics are an important group of materials. Another important group are composites, so we're going to look at those now. Most composites are made by combining two different materials. We have the reinforcement, which consists of fibres or fragments of one material. The reinforcement is then surrounded by a matrix or binder material. Now the key feature of composites is that they've got different properties to the materials in them. So I'm showing you here the material carbon fibre composite. In this case, the reinforcement material are fibres of carbon, and the matrix is a plastic resin. Carbon fibre composites are very strong and light. This makes it extremely useful, for example, in cars or in aircraft parts. Another example of a composite is reinforced concrete, which I'm showing you here. This has got steel bars surrounded by concrete. Reinforced concrete is extremely strong, and it's used to make buildings. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on ceramics and composites in my Vision Workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.